Hey everybody, Joy here. Am I on my right channel? <laughs> I, I've been on the wrong day all morning and so is Jerry. I started out on my other channel called Shine with my devotion this morning and I announced to the whole world that it was Thursday. Because it really did seem like Thursday. And I just went downstairs to look something up and Jerry came in and he said, today's Thursday, right? And I said, wrong. He said, well, just tell everybody we're old. <laughs> So today's Wednesday, May 19, 2021, and I thought I'd show you my quilt. I just did today this block, there's eight of these, and where's the other one? This. There's eight of these. One, two, and um, I went ahead and used a light blue again which was the lightest one I had, but I didn't want everything in the quilt to be a white background and then just have these odd blue ones. So I don't know, this may be the world's ugliest quilt when I get it done. <laughs> I don't see anything yet, and the center is all that's missing right here. I can't imagine what the center is going to be. Can you? What do you think it's going to be? I'm assuming that whatever the center is, it's going to have to look good going any direction. So you can turn the quilt, you know, on any side and it looks the same. Maybe it's a circle. Huh? Maybe it's a circle. I don't know. Strange quilt. And of course, you know, if I had the right fabric and all of the backgrounds were white instead of some light blues and some... See, this was a lot of white right here. But for some reason, <laughs> the cut, the cut inside, the cut inside, the cut, this one came out mostly dark, mostly dark. So I wasn't happy with that. But I don't want to start over on the entire quilt. <laughs> it will be what it will be. I'll throw it in the RV and make it a tablecloth or something. <laughs> we shall see. I haven't heard from Jeffy. I don't know if Jeffy's been watching my videos lately. He's remodeling his kitchen and he's had some major issues with the cabinets coming in wrong. So I know if Jeff saw something on here, he would say, Joy, you need to do this and you need to do that. <laughs> but too late, so don't tell me now. <laughs> oh my. So what else am I doing? I'm putting away fabric. I decided. I'm not ordering any more fabric. Yeah, you heard me. I'm not ordering any more fabric. I have so much fabric in this room. I've started putting it on the floor in Little Mountains. I put away eight pieces yesterday. I'm going to go cut eight boards and I'm going to do eight today. And I figure if I keep doing eight a day, I'll get it all put up by the weekend. And this quilt will be finished Saturday. Now, of course, I have to sew all these pieces together, you understand. Oh, won't that be fun? I wish I could move my sewing. Maybe I could. Maybe I could move the sewing machine in here. Hmm. Jerry! <laughs> I really would like to do that. I have some portable tables somewhere. I think I will do that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drag all of these blocks clear in that other room, which is 40 feet from here or more, and all the way back, and all the way in, and all the way back, and all the way in. And this way I can sew them, stick them up, sew them, stick them up. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to find a little portable table. Got lots of plugs. Put my sewing machine up here. And I'm gonna do that. So when you see me next, I bet you you'll see a little sewing machine sitting right here in the middle of this room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I've been doing my devotionals every morning. On my other channel, when I split that channel away from this one, it kind of cost me quite a bit. I uh, lost all the views. You know, YouTube decides if you're any good at all and if they should help anybody watch you by how many views you get. So all the views I got from that are now not here anymore. They're over on the other channel. And of course, the other channel doesn't get hardly any views. So, <laughs> I don't know. God! <laughs> will decide what becomes of my channels. I know that for a fact. And I love everybody that watches me, either here or there, or both, or nowhere. I love you anyway. 
What else am I doing? I'm not making clothes. I think it is much, much, much easier to make clothes than it is to make a quilt. I think quilts are hard because there's points and the points have to point and they have to meet at the point and they have to meet perfect. And it is so easy to chop those points off. I either tend to get them too far apart or too close together. And so, and being a perfectionist, I'll sew it 10 times if I have to, to get them perfect. And even then, you end up with these, this is supposed to be a, a light. She says lights, but she's using mostly creams and whites. So we shall see, we shall see. Now that I have two channels, I'm really sorry because I don't know who I told what on what channel. <laughs> but Jerry and I recently found this cutest little red Jeep. You want to see our little red Jeep? I don't know if I showed it to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, how I missed my memory. But I'm going to take a picture of the little red Jeep we found, okay? And I'll put it right here. So, here's the deal. The Jeep is so we can take a car with us behind our RV. And we heard that a Jeep was the most popular vehicle that people pulled behind the RV. Because some vehicles can't be pulled on their wheels. Some vehicles have to be put up on a trailer and then you pull the trailer and the vehicle behind the RV. So, now Jerry is on a major search to find all of the things that you need to hook the Jeep up to the back of the RV and um, make sure that it's all safe and sound and properly done, etc. And of course, in the town we live in, nobody does stuff like that. <laughs> so we may have to take our RV on a vacation to <laughs> get the stuff we need to attach the Jeep. I don't know, one day at a time. But it's nice that Jerry has something to do and we have some sunshine today. It has been raining, 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 raining. But Lake Texoma is full again. Our two ponds are full again. And my flying red alarm clock. <laughs> Jerry actually, now don't freak out. <laughs> He's been trying to shoot it with a BB gun. <laughs> and he can't shoot it when it's flying up into our window because he could hit the window, right? <laughs> So he's been trying to hit it in the tree, and of course he keeps missing it, so I don't think there's any problem that he's going to kill the little red flying alarm clock, but I just went downstairs to check to see if the mail had come, and I noticed the little flying red alarm clock sitting on the chair on the front porch. So I'm sure he's been, he also flies into that door, but when I'm up here I can't hear him and don't know it, so... I wish he'd just go take care of his girlfriend and his babies and leave our windows and doors alone. <laughs> And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's this bright red cardinal and his brown girlfriend that keep flying into our windows and our doors. And he starts at 6 a.m. on the octagonal window in our master bathroom. And so you're laying in bed trying to sleep and this bird keeps going smack, 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 smack into your window over and over and over again. <laughs> like, okay, I'm getting up. <laughs> All right, I better get my rear end gear. What time of day is it? It's 2.25, and I've got all of this fabric to get folded and put away. I'm going to start on the next block tomorrow morning for that quilt, and I'm not going to be sewing clothes until this quilt is done. So if you guys want to know about sewing clothes, what I make, how I make it, go back to my older videos, um, all kinds of fitting, there's SureFit Designs fitting, there's Fit Nice Systems fitting. Um, you know about Judy Kessinger's classes called Fit Nice Clinics. And um, they come on ever, ever so often. So you just go to fitnicesystem.com and you can uh, sign up for her Fit Nice Clinics and you'll always learn something there. And I don't know what Glenda's doing at the moment, but she often has um, some little tutorials too that you can go to. So, and Glenda's got thousands of videos by now I'm sure. <laughs> Which one do I like best? I like them both the best. I like them both the best. Okay, gonna let you go. I'll be back soon.